more hits on tape. Uh, I don't know if, if anybody outside of Germany and Switzerland knows. So, no. It's a teen magazine that had the hit parade, it was called back then. But other than that, I didn't pick up a lot of records because my dad had them all. Like, I just listened through his collection, so I got a very thorough education in rock music quite early on. The first record I bought by myself was David Hasselhoff, Looking for Freedom. <laughs> Which is fucking amazing. Yeah. <laughs> the first TV, no, the first tape I ever had, my dad gave it to me as a gift. It was um, The Verve. Uh, I don't know, the yeah. Bittersweet Symphony, I don't know if that was the album title, but the song was on it, uh -huh. and that's how I got into rock music. I was about eight or something. But cool. the first CD I actually bought, I have no clue. What I remember is my first, one of my first metal CDs that I bought for myself was in uh, the Dublin airport, and it was Dark Throne's Soul Side Journey. Ooh. That's a true one. It obviously wasn't my first CD ever, but yeah. that's what, what I remember. Yeah. My first instrument was piano. I played for seven years and forgot everything. So uh, I only really have the basics now that I can compose with. Um, for me it was piano as well. Like, as a child, I played for eight years. And then, one time I just picked up a guitar and just self-teached that. And he was able to play it like he plays it now, just... Yeah. It was a magic <laughs> moment. And you played the recorder? Mine was the recorder, but I used it as a drumstick, so... Kind of was the drums right away. That started when I was about 16 and I saw the instrument with a band called Found. They, they play um, folk music and I immediately fell in love with it and wanted to play it. So first I rented one at a high school for old music and I joined uh, Elvetti about three months later. So I basically learned how to play the instrument by learning their songs. And yeah, until this day I enjoy it because it's weird. Yeah, it was in Tenerife on a, a volcano. Yeah. Yeah, we were looking for a lunar landscape of sorts. So we, we heard about this desert in Tenerife around that volcano mm -hmm. mountain. Uh, actually, Anna's stepdad. Yeah, my stepdad came up with we the idea. We mentioned we want moon landscape and he knew instantly where to go um it turned out a bit different like my uh initial ideas i had the scripts they changed quite a bit but the, the quality i think is amazing like the camera work and everything we were very happy with it but yeah we all got sunburns i got a sunstroke i was puking my guts out <laughs> yeah and it was very very intense i mean of course our budget was limited so, you know, you, you watch the video, it looks, everybody's trying to look cool, but we were actually running because the daylight was running and we ran, we put the instruments down, we sat, we played, we picked them back up and we ran to the next location. Mm -hmm. 